Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing. Today I wanted to play around with some of my porch prints uh, little sentiments here. Um, they are from the Feel Good Kit and um, they one says dance, laugh, sing, walk by faith, Jesus is my refuge, and blessed. So I thought we'd do three of each, three of the small sentiments and then three of the bigger sentiments. And we're just going to back them with some coffee dyed paper. This is actually a 60 pound weight coffee dyed paper. This is like the last of it. I'm hoping that I can get some made. I really miss not having it. I don't think I have any more full, full sheets. I might have one more in there, but it's pretty much the last of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start by um, gluing on these pieces, the paper, to um, some coffee dyed paper. So let's go ahead and start with this big one. I'm going to put this out of the way though so that we can work. And so I'm just going to let me get all these lined up and then we'll we'll get working here. So that's that one and then I'm trying to keep my little dangly embellishments here separate. So I already had them kind of sorted out a little bit. And we just got that one and that one. It's after work on a work night, so <laughs> this might not be the smoothest um, video of, of all time, but I'm going to give it a shot. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these with some art glitter glue. <clears throat> we'll get them all glued down and then we'll cut them out once they're a little bit drier. But I just want them to be a little bit thicker so they'll hold up better because they are going to be hanging out of a journal or off of a page. So I'm going to try to save landscape here. So I'm going to put that right to the edge. I'm out of off camera there again. There we go. Let me get a little closer here. There we go. Jesus is my refuge. You can make these obviously out of any kind of sentiment that you want. It's just a kind of a sentiment strip dangle bit. So whatever suits you, please do that. This is just my, um, my take on it and the things that inspire me. And I actually had forgotten about this, these kit, this kit. I mean, I have a lot of kits that I haven't used any, uh, anything out of, but this one has some great small scrappy embellishments that I think will be fun to use. So there we go. Hopefully I'll only need one sheet of this. I think I can get all my words on here. I might not even need the little pieces. So on these ones, I'm going to leave a little bit of a border. So um, on these ones, I'm going to ink them first before I glue them onto the paper because I'm going to leave a border. These ones are not going to have a border. But I want these to just be slightly longer than they are by themselves. So. Hope that you'll check out my porch prints. Amazing kits over there. I'm just always just so, so honored and blessed and oh, thankful for what they create. It's beautiful. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue these on as well. I realize I'm kind of, kind of wonky there. Hopefully we can get these all on here. I think we can, even with a little border on these little bits. Didn't really press those down very well, did I? I hope your guys' day was good. It is, I'm filming ahead as usual, so today is Tuesday, October the 5th. So it was a crazy work day for me. We're short-staffed in our special education room and it is a challenging job when we're fully staffed so it was a it was a tricky day but I am blessed very blessed to work with these special little people who are just so individual and so so sweet and so um, strong you know they're incredibly strong people there we go. Okay, so let me get my scissors out here. 
go ahead and we'll cut these other ones that we've that have been on here for a bit longer. I'm just going to cut around as close as I can to that so that I don't affect the border that I want to create on the the word ones. <clears throat> these ones I'm going to cut right to the edge of the original piece. And I just love these because they kind of look just scrappy. Well, they're they're supposed to look torn and they do, which I think is a really cool element. These are printed on uh, probably either a 40 or a 60 pound paper, so they are thicker than normal cardstock, but because they're a dangle, I want to make sure that they're nice and nice and strong. I love the rough edges. And then fussy cutting is easier because I don't actually have to follow that line. <laughs> Just kind of a kind of a little blessing. So so yeah, today was tough and we get so hot and sweaty because we're in, you know, masks and gloves and aprons and things to protect us because our kiddos, most of them can't wear masks um, due to just their disability and their limitations. And so, and we're constantly chasing. And when we go to PE, they're not just playing PE, we're playing PE. And they go to music and they're not just doing music, we're doing music. So it is a hot and sweaty ordeal. And... So I don't usually nap during the day because then I don't sleep very well at night. But I came home and I was going to craft right when I got home and I was just like, you know what? I talk about self-care. I need to do self-care. I need to just go lay down. And so I did and I actually fell asleep for about an hour and a half. So we'll see how that goes for, for tonight's uh, sleep patterns. But I'll deal with that. Maybe I'll have myself some lavender tea. That always helps. So, just thought I'd create a quick video. It's about 7, 7.15 here. Um, so I got a little bit of time to work. <clears throat> so, I hope you guys are doing well. Gearing up for the change in seasons. I am, uh, if I, as I've mentioned before, I am preparing for my next journal, which is going to be a, a three ring binder gratitude journal. And I'm going to be calling it, I, it is my am, I, my, I am grateful journal. Um, so I'm excited to do that. I decided to do it in a three ring binder so that I can use the cover over and over again. And I can just take the pages out and add to it um, over time. So We'll see how that goes. So now I'm going to go ahead and ink all of these edges. These should be super, super simple. I finally got some of the 1 8 inch eyelets and then I was going through and picking some of them and they're kind of odd colors. So I think I'm going to go back to Amazon and see if I can find some in the bronze and the um, gold and some of the other common colors. These are some of these colors are super bright and I'm not really I'm not really all about that. So but for now we'll use what we have. It'll be okay. So we're just going to attach these. We're going to put a bulb pin on them and just a little charm. It'll be super easy. You can use whatever. I mean, you could make I actually thought about making some that are like a sentiment like a sentiment um cluster scrap cluster kind of thing but I didn't have the bandwidth for that today so I wanted to keep it easy sorry that was off camera a little bit so now what we're going to do is go ahead and let me cap my glue here before it plugs up and I say this in every video but this is like the gift of all gifts was this tiny bottle for my art glitter glue I absolutely adore it so I've got my um I don't need my ink anymore either so I've got my Cropodile out here, and I haven't used it. Um, I'm not going to be able to get it in camera because my camera is literally right here. <laughs> so I don't have room to get in. So it is set right now on the small hole. So if you see that, when I push that, can you see that? That's the 1 8 inch hole. So that's the one we're going to be using today. And I just got the eyelet, so I've actually never punched a hole this small. So how about we start with... Um, let's start with this one. 
So I'm just going to get it in there and I'm going to do my, I have to kind of tip it just so that I can see where this is coming down in, in relation to the edges. So I'm not an expert on these, so I'm just going to give that a punch. One down. Let's go ahead and do this one. I think I'll do this one up in, we'll do it in this corner, or maybe we'll do it on this edge. So I think I'm going to do this one right here just to be different. I just don't want to get too close to the edge because then I get concerned about the structure, you know, if it's going to be structurally sound. But I'm also thinking of a bigger hole and these are 1 8 inch size so they're pretty small. This one I'm going to do up in this corner. I'm sorry I'm off camera a little bit guys. I wanted to have this close enough so you guys could see. But then that limits what I can actually have in view. So these ones I'm just going to put attach an eyelet like center of that piece there or as center as I can get. Just tricky. It's hard to see. I'm just going to I want to go as close to that edge as I can though because I'm working with a bulb pin. So I'm just going to punch there and see how that that's perfect. And that's a little laugh and then we're going to do sing. I forgot these little sentiments were in that ephemera. I usually put all my sentiment stuff out in the same place because and I don't forget about it in terms of like the just the little words that we use all the time. So here is dance. This is our last one. There we go. All right. So now we're gonna um, let's see. So I don't think you have to make any adjustments to this because it is there's no setting on that. I don't think we make any adjustments to that. Again, I've never done a smaller eyelet, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this eyelet that I picked for the blessed. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that through there. Perfect. It's so tiny. I love it. And then we're going to go ahead and put that in there and then give it, oh, got to move this forward. Again, not a tutorial on how to use the crocodile. And I am not the expert anyway, so I'm just going to crimp that. Perfect. Oh, that didn't work very well. Shoot, what happened? Something's wrong. I'm going to pause the camera because I think there might be another setting here. So just a moment, guys. Okay, guys, I honestly can't figure it out. So I'm going to leave this one just because I don't want to toss it, but it's not going through. Um, I've tried various settings on here and I cannot figure it out. I don't know if it's my eyelets are cheap or what is going on, but we're going to go ahead and not use the eyelet and just put a bulb pin on, which will be just fine. It's not a big deal. So I've got my little tools here for um, opening up these, um, these bits. So I actually want to take this one out, but I don't know if I can do it without tearing it. You see that? It's like partially in there. Can we get it out? Nope, we're going to have to leave it. But just for the sake of the video, we'll leave it. So let's go ahead and do, what did I have for this one? I got them all. Yeah, Jesus is my refuge. And the reason why I chose this charm is it's got this little, I don't know, just looks like a little girl on that little charm. Can you see that? So I thought it was fitting for this, this one. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and I've got all these eyelets there now that I can't use them. So we're going to go ahead and open up this jump ring. I am not the expert at this either. I'm going to give it a try though. And I'm going to put on my little charm. I like this one because it's flat. So if you see that, it's going to be really nice in a journal because it's not it's not going to bulk things up too much. So and then we can just go ahead and close that up. I'm going to get this other one and see if I can do this proper. Like so. I don't do fiddly things very well. Oh, that was perfect. Not fiddly at all. So now we're going to go ahead and put our bulb pin on. And see. Put this on the bulb pen. 
put this on the card and there we go. I'm not sure which way they're supposed to hang, if they're supposed to hang on the base of it or not. We might put a little bit of um, sorry silk or something on there. In fact, let me just grab some while we're here. I think it's right here by me. We'll just um, give a little bit of spice, spicy color to this. Make it a little bit funner. This is a really big piece. Definitely don't need that. So I'm just going to put a piece of sorry silk on here too. Just a very simple embellishment. Anybody could do it. So I encourage you to try. You might have better skills at this than, than me though. <laughs> I'm just going to tie a little knot there. I'm not going to be too fussy about it. Got a lot of little strings. So there we go. Got a little bit of sari silk on there. I think that's still a little bit long. Let me just trim that a bit. Doesn't need to be too too long. There we go. So there is number one. Really cute. So let's go ahead and do this one that we got all bent and I think I had this one uh, with this leaf this was a recent purchase that I got at Joann's they were running a sale on all of the um, what is that oh something in Joe's is the brand I can't think of it off, off the top of my head but I grabbed a, a few strands I like to just take them apart so there's my opening and at night on a weeknight is not the time to do fiddly work. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. There we go. Go ahead and put this on here. A little bit wider. Sorry, I'm off camera. Goodness. And then we're going to put our little leaf on here. Oh, I forgot. We forgot the bull pin. That was why it seemed weird. Where's my bulb pin for that one? Hmm. I don't think I got enough out. I'll grab this one for now. It's okay. And then we're going to close this up. That works out actually pretty nice. Sometimes I make things harder than they need to be. It's kind of in my thinking. So there we've got that. Oh, I love that. Beautiful. So let's get a piece of sorry silk or um, seam by the whoa. Oh, it just fell out. Hold on. I think I've got some green that would work well on that one. Let's get a bit of that. A little bit of sorry silk on here. So this is a great way to use scraps, guys. Even if you just had the little sentiment strips and you put them on, you put it on a piece of scrap paper, it would make a really, really cool little dangle. So there we go. That's long too. I always get way too much of everything that I need. <laughs> there we go. So that is number two, cute little leaf. We are blessed with life, aren't we? So this one was Walk by Faith, and I have this little shell, um, little dangle. But I need to grab another bolt pin because I don't have enough. Hold on. It's right behind me. There we go. All righty. So again, we're not going to be doing the, um, the eyelets. I need to figure that out, though, because I really wanted them to have eyelets. So that's kind of a bummer, just because I think it makes it look, they make, it makes it look nicer, in my opinion, but I'll figure it out. So we're just, oh, sorry, off camera, goodness. I put my little charm on. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the bulb pin just for ease, since we've already got this all open and going. And give that a turn. So when you're opening it up, when you're opening it, you pull it towards yourself 
and then when you close it you're pulling it back towards itself so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on a little bulb pin I didn't realize these would be so fast I'm pretty pleased with this There we go. So what color? I'm sorry, Silk, do we, how about we go with a little bit of blue here? I've got some right here. Kind of a bluish purple, actually. And a little bit of both colors. So we'll go with that. Walk by faith. I live by that a lot. I don't know about you. And even if you're not like a you know, a, a religious, religious faith driven kind of person, we all walk through our lives with an element of faith, um, which is just basically a belief. And, you know, a believing in good, a believing in things are going to work out, a believing in, you know, the goodness of people, you know, all that kind of stuff. So we all have it. Um, oh, what happened here? It's all tangled up. Hmm, I think I tied that on the wrong place. Hold on. Fiddly, fiddly. And I keep going off to the side because my camera is literally right here. You can see that. <laughs> it's hard to work. So let's try this differently here. I think the problem is, there we go. There we go. It is right now that back on <laughs> oh goodness it's challenging it'll be worth it though these will be great grab and go stuff I have a bunch of little stuff but when I go to use it I'm like oh it doesn't go with this it doesn't go with this so like the idea of having it pre-made and I don't actually find that I want to use it is kind of weird but there we go. Now it's hanging right. So there we got our little our little shell, which is backwards. There we go. It's not hanging on that jump ring very well. I might need to fix that, but there's that one. And so now we've got our little words here. So let's get those on. So I've got laugh. And so I've got this little, this is one of those little gems from Tim Holtz. And I got my jump ring and my bull pin. We're going to go ahead and open this one up as well. We're trying to stay on camera, guys. Put our little... I think what that one needs, the shell needs probably a little jump ring to kind of help it hang a little bit differently. So I will do that. I'll fix that off camera. It's a good thing you didn't actually want to see this since I've been off camera. Actually, I think I'm just going to close this, and maybe that's my problem with the bulb pin. I'll just slip it on the bulb pin here in a second. So again, where we turned it, we pulled it away or towards ourselves to open it. We're going to turn it back towards itself, away from the body, to close it, like so. I love those little gems, though. They're so cool. So we've got laugh. And these actually don't need an eyelet. They're actually quite. Um, Quite strong so let's just get this on here like so there we go so there is our little our little gem come on turn over <laughs> those may all need an additional jump ring I'm not sure that one has an extra jump ring though so it should be okay it dangles are weird. Okay, so then I've got um, Sing. So I've got this little um, this little charm here, which will be pretty, really basic, simple. <clears throat> you could totally mass produce these if you got in a mood for being fiddly. I don't have a long attention span for this, but I like to do it from time to time. Get that on there. Let's go ahead and just get it on this bolt pin. <clears throat> Close it up. So we're gonna, um, I'm gonna bend it away from myself, like so. You see that? Need to get it together though. 
Ah, there we go. Okay, let's get this on our little our little sing sentiment. There we go. These are so cute. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Really simple. Just really simple, but they can hang in your journal on a piece of lace or fabric or anything that you've got going on that it can easily attach to. So that's pretty cool. So the last one is this. It's similar to the other one, just in a different color. I was trying to stick with the bronze color because um, I am a matchy-matchy person. So I'm working with these bronze jump rings. So I wanted the, the bronze um, little dangles. So certainly don't have to do that. It's perfectly fine to mix and match. So there we go. This is the last one. So guys, I thank you for watching. I hope that you were able to sort of see. Um, it's harder for me when I get the camera up this close because it's literally like where my hands are. It's not even five inches higher because I don't have a zoom on the camera. I just have to pull my webcam down to my surface to work. So if I need a closer view. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on here and then we are done. So thanks for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye bye.